Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motor home value from Parkway RV Center. Got another nice pre-owned tag axle RV today. This is a 2005 American Eagle by American Coach slash Fleetwood Class A motorhome. It is a 42R is the model number. It's 42 and a half feet long. Quad slides, 49,000 miles. And folks, it does have that upgrade. 525 horsepower, Caterpillar, C13 diesel. I mean, folks, this is one of the biggest motors you can get in a Class A diesel. 525 horsepower, 1,650 pound-feet of torque, 15,000 pound towing capacity. This has a beast of a motor, folks. And uh, it wasn't available in most 2005 models. This obviously was a very late production 2005 because that motor wasn't officially available until 2006. But they, like they do a lot of times at toward the end of the production year, they run out of the 400s and the 500s, whichever was in at factory. So they started putting in some of the 525s for the last run or two. And um, you reap the benefits. Beautiful full body paint. I mean, this obviously been kept out, out of the elements when it wasn't being used. The striping, the finish, the paint is in beautiful condition. That tag axle makes it a lot more stable going down the road and gives you a lot better towing capacity. Power awning, of course, outside refrigerator, full pass through storage. Got a fiberglass peaked roof. So you don't have to worry about going up there and sealing it like you do with the rubber roofs that most Fleetwoods have. American Coach is owned by Fleetwood folks, but they kind of differentiate differentiate themselves from Fleetwood. Whole different facility and everything. Beautiful RV folks. ABS, uh, of course, uh, it's got the Spartan Summit chassis, independent front suspension, air brakes, air suspension, one of the just an awesome, awesome running and driving motorhome, folks. All four slides have awning toppers in excellent condition. You're going to love the power that 12 and a half liter uh, Caterpillar turbo diesel and torque gives you, folks. Wow. Uh, side mounted radiators. You don't have to worry about blowing everything off of your tow vehicle. Got the Alcoa wheels. Tires look great. Got the window awnings. Got three ducted roof airs. Got a 10KW Onan diesel generator running right now, powering everything inside. And it's literally got everything you can think of, folks. One piece windshield so you don't miss anything going down the road. I mean, this is a motor coach, not a motor home, but a motor coach. Got the chrome mirrors, got the newer style, the ones you don't have to worry about hitting your heads on. Uh, Xeon headlights, which is pretty brand new stuff when this was new. Folks, you got to realize, back in 2005 prices, not 2019, it's almost twice as much now. But back then, this was about a $440,000 motorhome, according to NADA, back in 2005. And that's not counting all the upgrades. That's just a base model price, MSRP. I've got it for $115,000 with a one-year warranty. So... Um, this is a great buy. Let's look inside. It's beautiful on the inside. Power steps work great. As we step inside, folks, got that really high gloss tile floor that looks great up here in the front cab. Um, power gear jacks, uh, leveling system. Um, it has a uh, backup camera, works great. Six speed Allison transmission. You know, you'll like the way that Spartan chassis rides and drives, folks. There's nothing better. Nothing rides better. Um, seats look just like 49,000 mile seats you'd look like, which should look great. Uh, leather, of course, a swivel for party seating. Passenger side is a recliner and it's heated. Beautiful solid wood cabinetry throughout the entire RV. Uh, original TV up there, so everything fits perfectly. Got surround sound. Now, I know this may not be in everybody's price range and budget, folks, but for those of y'all who are in this 120 grand and under price range, 
this is a great buy. I mean, especially look what it costs new. And look how beautiful this RV is. Look at the ceilings. Three ducted roof airs, got all the chrome accents and the, I guess you'd call that a faux tray ceiling. But it looks great. All leather furniture, and this is factory installed. It's got heating vents uh, built into the center of these uh, theater seating. Of course, you've got a leather sleeper sofa there. And just some really nice accents, big crown molding, day-night shades, all the mirror accents, everything looks great. Corian tops, Corian tabletop, table and chairs, got the nice lighting fixtures. Um, of course, fi uh, uh, fiberglass top roof, and it is insulated, of course. No stress cracks, which that's something you hardly see in a Spartan chassis, is stress cracks on tile floors and Corian countertops on a Spartan chassis. They just have a great ride and drive. Now, they may not have the best turning radius in the world. Like if you try to pop a U-turn or something like that. But it more than makes up for that in the ride and drive. Convection oven up top and a regular oven down below. Well, they didn't cook much in here. Which is kind of a shame to spend almost half a million dollars on a motorhome and barely use it. And keep in mind, folks, that's, you know, this thing was up there close to half a million dollars back in 2005, 2006. You know, RVs have gone up pretty substantially since then. I mean, this, uh, in fact, they've almost doubled since then. So, you know, you, you want to buy one of the, uh, something like this new now, and you couldn't touch it for what you could have bought it for back then, brand new. And certainly for $115,000, folks. Wow. Um... Four door, 12 cubic fit, nor cold refrigerator freezer. And yeah, it's got the washer and dryer and all that other stuff. It's already getting cold. Ice maker built in. Um, looks like we got a, it's on, but um, obviously the lights burn out, which is pretty common. We, of course, we, we replaced that, but. Got some slide out pantry trays right here. Pretty nice. See, this one should be one right here too, and bottom one I believe is one. Yep. You know that's a good idea. That's uh, that way your pantry's out of the way and it's not taking up a lot of space. Solid sliding door if you want to isolate the bathroom. Uh, your bathroom's got a Corian sink all built in. Uh, medicine cabinet, fantastic vent fan. Shower has got all fiberglass surround and it hasn't even started this color yet. So right there tells me that this has probably been an inside kept RV because if they've been kept outside, especially Fleetwoods, their showers start to yellow when they get aged and the sun comes through the skylight and hits it. So this thing's just all the signs say that it's been kept out of the weather when not being used. Uh, wallpaper in here, the border is not peeling. That's another sign that it hasn't been exposed to extreme temperatures uh, because when one's out in the open, especially in the summertime, that starts curling at the edges and you either have to remove it or replace it so um, China RV toilet fantastic vent fan in here very cozy rear bedroom Queen Island bed of course east west big this thing's probably got a, a 46 50 inch TV in the bedroom um, you know this may even let me step it off real quick folks this this is actually a uh, king size bed, not a queen, my mistake. King size bed. Got a residential style ceiling fan in here. You can see the beautiful ceilings in here, reading lights. Got some LEDs up here. Got the washer and dryer right here. And yes, folks, I know the closet has got a broken piece of glass. In the next 24 hours, that will be replaced. I've already put in a call to my glass guy. He's going to stop by this afternoon, cut a piece of mirror for it, install it, and you'll never know that was there. And that happens sometimes, folks. Um, when you, anytime you go RVing and you've got multiple slides like this, always make sure that your cabinets are closed good. What happens? They get open, the slide out catches it, and it, before somebody can stop it, it crunches the, uh, the glass. Of course, in here, all your information model r 2005 model 
and I've got a picture of the sticker that shows a 525 horse engine. I was going to see if it said it back here too. Um, because somebody will probably argue with me. Oh, the book says it only has this. Well, you're wrong. The book's wrong. It's got a 525 horsepower cat. I'll bet my I'll bet my paycheck on it, folks, for the next year that it's got a 525 cat. I've got the inspection sticker that's up front. I took a picture of, and it clearly shows 525 horsepower engine. But I mean, this thing's a beast, folks. You want something that'll go down the road? You worry about slowing everybody down? I mean, granted, you're not going to take a 42, 43 foot long vehicle and run 100 miles an hour, but this one will definitely get up to speed quickly, and you're going to have hill and mountain climbing power galore. Pretty neat. They got little storage, nook and cranny storage everywhere. I like that. Cedar line closets. Anyway, folks, here it is. Low miles, excellent condition. Very high-end brand, tag axle, if you want to tow, 15,000 pound tow capacity, plenty of power, a lot of life left to it. You know, that's what gets me. Somebody went out in 2005, bought this thing brand new, spent, even with discounts, they probably spent with the way it's equipped, 400 grand plus. Used it for 49,000 miles, here it is for a fourth of that price almost. But, you know, that's why you're making the smart decision to buy used instead of new. $115,000, folks. That's haggle-free, firm. This is, this is worth every penny of that and more. You know, we're going to give you other benefits that other dealers don't do at that low price, which is low for this make and model. Believe me, look them up. We're also going to include a one-year nationwide limited warranty. One year, not 90 days like most of them, but one year. Accepted at a network of dealers nationwide. And that there is worth quite a bit of money. Uh, so in the uh, rare occasion you have a warranty claim in the first 12 months, you you know you're covered. And a uh, good thing about it is because it's accepted at, at a network of dealers nationwide, if for those of you, like most of you, who are going to be traveling a long distance to buy an RV from us, in the rare occasion that you have a claim in the first 12 months, you're certainly welcome to bring it back here. But you don't have to. If there's a dealer a lot closer to us than or to you than we are, then you can take it to them if they're in the network. And I do the same thing for that dealer's customers too. So it's kind of a, it, it works out great. And uh, gives you options. And um, that's included. I mean, that's not plus several thousand dollars extra for that warranty. That's included. $115,000 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. No extra surprise games, no fees, no gimmicks. Easy, simple, and done. Hundred fifteen grand plus tax. Uh, if you want to know how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have to pay it, contact my sales team, and they will, of course, go over that with you. Beautiful RV. Anybody would, I mean, you pull up in this, people think you're pulling up in a half million dollar RV. I mean, it, it looks great. It's beautiful. It's in great condition. Obviously, somebody's going to spend half a million dollars on a new RV. Normally takes better care of it than just an average Joe buying a, a, a Four Winds or a Coachman brand new that doesn't have the money to build a building for it or a cover for it. I mean, obviously they're going to have the money. Whoever buys this obviously is, is, is pretty well off financially and generally takes good, good care of their stuff because it costs so much. So it's in beautiful condition. Won't last long, so please call ahead before coming to look to verify it's available. 706-965-7929 is our phone number and it's answered 24-7 if it's after hours or answering service gets it but wow anyway folks if you're interested in this motor home 115 grand after purchase this unit's going to go through an extensive RV checkout and if you want to see how extensive and you won't believe the stuff that we check on a for a 15 or a 14 year old motor home Nobody, no other dealer does that on a 14 year old RV folks at most you might get a propane system checking for leaks that's usually all you get when you buy a 14 year old RV from a dealer at any price unless you pay of course extra money for an inspection uh, but we do it all included all inclusive 115 plus tax uh, 115,000 plus tax and um, you get the inspection it's a four page long inspection process. It's on my website, parkwayrvcenter.com, if you want to see it. 
just click on this listing or any of the other listings on there and they'll say what we inspect for option A price. Option A of course is the 115000 and uh, you, you get a, a, excuse me, a 12 month warranty on top of that. So right there eliminates the fear of, of everybody's main fear about buying a used RV is inheriting somebody else's problem. Between that and that, the inspection and the warranty you ought to be covering. Plus we drive these things folks five to six hundred miles. Uh, so obviously the running and driving is, is like it's supposed to be or it wouldn't be here right now. But folks, we, we really go through these things. This is our business. We're 51 year old used RV dealership, three generations, family owned and operated right here in Ringgold, Georgia. We've always been here for you, always going to be. This is our business. This is what we do. We don't sell new RVs. We sell one brand of new travel trailers. That's it. That's so we can offer better financing options for our customers. It's the only reason we carry that. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't carry nothing new. And um, uh, it's it's a nice rig. Um, well worth the money. I know this may be out of the price range of a lot of my viewers. Hey, I understand that. I, I try to carry something for everybody. I've got diesels with slide out starting as low as $10,000 up to $115,000, $120,000 and everything in between. So I try to accommodate everybody's price range, but keep in mind everybody's price range includes lower, uh, lower prices and the higher end of the spectrum too. There are people out there looking to spend 100, 150 grand on a used on a used motor coach. Here you go, and you're buying a lot more coach than you're paying for, uh, especially with the 06 engine in it and all that other stuff that would cost you another 20, 30 grand to go up a year. So beautiful American Eagle, great brand. Fleetwood's been around since RVs have have, have been a thing. Uh, they were one of the pioneers in the RV industry. So definitely a brand that everybody's heard of and just about anybody can work on but thank you for watching my video um, it's 115 grand and that's haggle free firm no matter how you're paying for it I'll go ahead and go over this real quick the only way we discount our prices if for some crazy reason you want to take it as is to save a few thousand dollars I understand you know if this is at the upper end of your price range that can make a difference sometimes I don't recommend on these higher end coaches anything but option a because they have so much equipment so many systems that a regular rv doesn't have that we check that it's definitely worth the extra plus the year warranty is more more than enough to to cover the difference between option a and option b price however if you still want a discounted price and you're willing to buy it as is which that's what option B price is. That's the only way we discount our prices. We'll sell this RV to you as is. No inspection, no checkout, no warranty, no orientation, no free camping, and all the other benefits that we give you, which I need to finish going over. That reminds me. But if you want to buy it completely as is, like you buy it for sale by owner, which is we'll bring the rooms in, crank it up, you drive it off a lot, take it home, and anything good and bad is on you to fix it or not fix it. And there's no exclusions to that rule. It doesn't matter if it's chassis, RV component, or structural component. It's as is, is as is. So if you're willing to buy one under those conditions, we will give you a discounted price since we don't have to buy that warranty, which is very expensive, by the way. We don't have to pay a tech to do a checkout, orientation, and all that other stuff. So option B is as is. You get the motor home, you get a drive-out tag, a starter kit, and a couple of DVDs. That's it. If you want a price on that, contact my sales team at 706-965-7929. Option A, which is what 80, probably around 80% of you are going to take, is going to include the one-year warranty, going to include the uh, inspection with us fixing anything on that list that doesn't work, no matter what the cost, uh, at that, for that $115,000. That's your guaranteed price. It doesn't go up just because we spent more on a, on, a, on the inspection process and repairing stuff than we planned on and that does happen from time to time I have lost money on a lot of deals because of the way we do it but in the end this is the best way to keep our prices low by keeping our overhead low by not having as many RV techs in the back so we check them after purchase and, and let's be honest with you folks alright let's just say we, we, we kept this thing in the back and pre-checked everything on it put it out here on the lot three or four weeks or longer or shorter it depends um, you got and we had literally have hundreds of people walking through these things every week pushing buttons with kids with drinks with food turning stuff on uh, I've, I've caught customers stealing parts out of RVs before 
Um, I mean, a lot of abuse happens out here just from people walking through that don't respect our property. And so here's the thing. I can pre-check it. Sits out here for a month, let's say, and you buy it. You, or you, of course, you see it. You see it after everybody's messed it up. You're going to want it checked again. Because obviously, there's going to be stuff torn up from just sitting out here on the lot. Um, and I I won't go into detail, but I've caught customers doing all kinds of crazy stuff in these, uh, uh, using jacks, and just, just they just treat it like an adult playground. So, And I'm not complaining because most people respect our property, but you always have that one out of ten that doesn't. But anyway, of course, you see it, all the people and everything they've done to it, of course, you're going to want it checked again. So we're doing doing a complete checkout twice, double the work for the same amount of profit. So it doesn't make business sense to pre-check them. It makes sense to check them after they're sold. Then my cleaning crew can clean it inside and out for you. Then my service manager, Gordy, does his final inspection. If he's happy, he locks it up so nobody can get in it until you pick it up. He'll set an appointment for you to pick it up. When you arrive here at the appointed time, the tech that checked it out knows it better than anybody. It's going to go through it with you, show you how to operate everything, show you any repairs you had to make, give you tips, tricks, and pointers. If you're towing something back, he'll help you hook that up as well. And you can record them with your phone or, or uh, video or with your camera if you want to. And a lot of people do, and I recommend it. Uh, plus, we give you instructional DVDs. We also give you a year's, of, a year's worth of free camping. Um, 21, up to 21 nights, up to 7 nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12 month period after purchase and a great organization we've had several customers after they after their 21 nights go ahead and join that particular um, campground group and they love it and uh, if you got questions about that give us a call but you get a thousand dollars worth of free camping regardless yours for the taking also get a drive out tag starter kit with your sewer hose water hose pressure reducer all brand new sealed in a five gallon bucket most dealers on used rvs don't provide you with anything you have to go in their store and buy that or go to walmart or amazon spend a hundred bucks and get all that stuff but we give you all that for free so basically in layman's terms the option a hundred fifteen thousand dollar price you get a fully functional 2005 american eagle eagle 42r checked out ready to go cleaned up with all your essential stuff already in the only thing you got to do is load your family up load some food and luggage in here take it to the rv park that easy uh but you bring you some silverware a few couple pots and pans or grill and and all that stuff because you can use it right off the lot you don't have to worry about taking it to a repair shop and having this fixed or that fixed or this checked out that checked out like you do with a for sale by owner uh because our stuff like I said, we we make sure it's right. And if we don't, do, if we didn't do that, folks, would we be in business for 51 years? Would we be selling five to six hundred used units a year if we didn't do what we say we're going to do? And we do it for the lowest prices on the internet for that particular make and model. And like I said, I know some of y'all are going to make comments. Oh, that's too much. That's too much because it's out of your price range. But for somebody in this price range, this is a bargain that's done their research, that's looked at other RVs in this price range, looked at this particular unit, the same year make and model unit on the internet, you're going to see our price is low. And especially the fact you get that one year warranty where other dealers, you have to spend thousands extra for that, if they even offer it. Anyway, folks, if you got any questions, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Got a great selection of used RVs, uh, and I've also made it easy to go to my website, too. If you're watching this video on YouTube, go to the video description below. There'll be a link in the paragraph. Click on that link, and it will take you right to my used Class A diesel page. I'll be adding some more, so hang tight. Subscribe if you haven't already. You're going to see some great deals, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get these expensive ones out first, and then work on my lower price diesels and, and, and gas engine A's. Bought 15 yesterday, folks. Most of them Class A motorhomes. So I got plenty more coming in. Uh, let's see here. Just to give you a, a, a just a, a little information, got a Beaver Patriot Yorktown coming in diesel. I've got a Alpha Sea coming in. I've got a um, 2006 Endeavor, I think, coming in diesel. I've got some pretty neat stuff coming in. I'll be posting online as soon as they get here and we get them set up. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, 